One really nice feature to have on a multimeter is the ability to read capacitors and this meter can do that. Here's a little schematic of a capacitor. So here I put five of the same rated capacitors onto a breadboard. These are 470 microfarad capacitors rated for 50 volts. Now these are electrolytic they have polarity this is the negative side so when we take measurements we'll put the black probe on the negative side and then the red probe will go to the positive side so now we have our meter set to measure capacitors over here it says NF it turns on when you cover the sensor there NF means nanofarad and that's one billionth of a farad billion with a B you need one billion nanofarads to equal one farad as I said these are microfarads so we're gonna measure this one black lead goes to the negative side stripes there and the positive and now we hold a little bit And I'm going to let it settle a little. And it's about 495. There you can see a little better. And then you should see a little, it's called a mu, but uh, looks like a little u for microfarad. So microfarad is one millionth of a farad. You need one million microfarads to equal one farad. And so we got uh, 400 and 95 basically microfarad. So as I said, this is a 470 microfarad capacitor. So this is just a tiny bit higher, but it's uh, not even I don't think 5% higher. So so this is pretty good. Usually there's a tolerance rating. Now we come to the other end of the board. So what I did was I lined up five capacitors and I put the one with the most capacitance on top and this one on bottom the, the board's upside down but uh, for right now this is the bottom one so the last capacitor I measured I thought it was no more than five percent off looks like it was probably closer to six percent off five percent to four hundred and seventy is twenty three point five but uh, five percent was was pretty close so again black goes to negative with these capacitors and red goes to positive and we'll wait for it to get a reading and there you can see we're at about 466 looks like it's close to 466 so the rating is 470 so one percent would be 4.7 and we're within that so this capacitor is within one percent of its rating one thing also to mention was uh, we took the reading of these two capacitors. This meter, according to its instruction manual, the accuracy is plus or minus 4%. So a little bit of that variation may have been due to the meter. So this might actually be uh, less than 5% off, but uh, because of the meter, we could be a little wrong. But uh, it's not a big deal our readings were really close to what the capacitors are rated so we're good to go here we have a capacitor on the other extreme this is a 10 nanofarad capacitor and I actually have capacitors that are a lot smaller than this but uh, in the instruction manual for the multimeter 10 nanofarad is the lowest reading that it gives me statistics on so I'm just gonna go by this now the component, the capacitor, all it says on there is uh, 1, 0, and 3. So it's a lot harder to tell what the capacitance is by looking at the component. So again, we will take our meter, and if, especially if we didn't have good labeling like this, this will make it a lot easier to find the capacitance of an unknown capacitor, but polarity does not matter with this capacitor. You can put them on either side. And now you see it says 9, basically 9.6. And then in small letters it says NF 
for nano farad. So that is also within 5% of what the rating is.